By the way, if you want to watch the full versions of our Let's Watch videos, check out my Patreon. YouTube usually blocks most of our full uploads, so if you want to see the uncut versions, they're uploaded there. So please consider supporting us on Patreon. All right, back to the video. And uh, here's to Tuesday movie night. Shall we start? Star, star. Yes, please. There we go. Arr, 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 arr. I've only seen this once before. And by the way, there's a lot of inspiration in this movie uh, that went into the um, design of characters and, and also even the writing of characters of Digital Circus. Let's see. I won't say yet. Will the chat figure it out? I mean, yeah, I feel like that's why we're checking it out because we were reminded of it after watching Digital Circus episode two. Absolutely. <laughs> Digital Circus prequel. Well said. Yo, it starts out live action? It's a Disney live action. Bye-bye, oh. Marcella. Have uh, a nice weekend. Don't say it. Oh, God. Fuck this doll. <laughs> she didn't even wave at the bus driver. Yo, what up, Asher? We're going to get this based on who? Oh, my God. What? This is a really... Oh, God. Have some respect for your <laughs> doll. Ragatha. When I was a kid, I like cherished my toys. I'd be like, I'd feel terrible if I was like dragging them around and hitting them in the head. You, oh, this Did wallpaper. See? What the fuck is on? Oh, it's corn. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I thought it was like a little, like, <laughs> so crucified, a little crucified character. Crucified. I thought it was a crucified corn person. <laughs> 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 Which episode of Digital Circus does this show up in? How's the audio, by the way, chat? Yes, it's me! Our wallpaper is always Thanksgiving-themed. Uh, my I basement had a wallpaper like that. Okay, With bye. all the little Come leaves yep. and pheasants and yep. shit. Yep, yep, yep. That's Ugh, a cool staircase. Members only. That's how I treat my Patreon. Members only. Yeah. Huh. Dude, that's a bomb ass like room as far as like being in the top part. <laughs> Close that door. Yeah, fuck you. There you go, you little <laughs> Fucking worthless doll. Oh god, that one's kinda scary looking. Yeah, toys have gotten better. And worse. These these toys have so much character to them though. God, is she gonna sing? Oh, that's right. The plot's coming back to me out of nowhere now. Oh. Drop it. Oh, I thought it was like stuck to the dresser or whatever. She no, she's get it just off. bad at doing things. Silly child. How's the volume for everyone? I think the chat says it's fine. The Bob's Mirror Company Inc. A publishing service of ITT. Da, 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 da. Presents! Presents! Aw, that was a cute little animation. Richard Williams worked on this. Cool. Yeah, they are! Aw, they're real. 1977. He's great. Cute. They're such cute character looking characters. Oh my gosh, that like Renosis. fuzzy sounds. Like the quality, the audio quality, the little fuzzy Classic. sounds. Man. <laughs> yes. you, you're going that hard already, guys? Come on. <laughs> yeah. So, so, I remember watching this, um, this uh, compilation of Siskel and Ebert reviews for animated films. Uh -huh. And Siskel says he hates when uh, animated films show the voice actors for characters at the start. He's like, let Why? Because let... it spoils it or something? Yes. He says, oh, let me be surprised. At it. Let me figure it out. Which nowadays is like, good luck going to a film without knowing about a voice actor attached to it because marketing. I was going to say, good luck going to see a movie without having the trailer tell you exactly who's starring in it. Exactly. Now, it's we're currently working on a video about uh, the death of voice acting in Hollywood. Uh, and a big part of that is because of just marketing. Marketing overshadows it now. Uh, I digress. Mm -hmm. 
Close your legs. <laughs> I love this song. Everything Rest and everyone else. Rag, darling. This is very charming. It's very charming. I get you put them at the start because maybe it's like a lot of folks don't really uh, hang out with the credits, so I get it. Oh, gingerbread nice. cookie, Dave, right now would be amazing. I love gingerbread. I only want gingerbread around Christmas. I can't wait for pecan pie. Gingerbread. Here we go. I'll wait for eggnog and rum. Oh yeah, my favorite. Is Marcel gone? I love her voice casting though. Marcel from Delicious and Dungeon. Oh my god, you're right. Yep, the coast is clear, it? Oh, what a day I've had. I think I must have popped half my stitches. Don't you worry, Raggedy Ann. I'll fix them up for you. Toy Story before Toy Story. Maxie fixes, fixes. Bonjour, oh. thank you for seven. Wait, wait, Maxie. That Susie Pincushion's kind of work. No, oh, her neck bending over like yeah. that. There. That's much better now, isn't it? Oh, it is. What would I do without you? It's like a Rag caterpillar. Rooms. The way you go banging around with Marcella, it's a wonder you didn't lose all your <laughs> stuffing years ago. It's true. I do get bounced around a bit. Uh, but you I want to say real quickly <laughs> that... Uh... Oh, my God. The little sock monster. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what a little abomination. Oh, he's, he's a sweetheart. He means well. I was going to say oh. um, the, the voice casting for Raggedy and Andy, top notch. Um, I was going to say her voice is very cute. I love when voice direction is done right, where it's like, oh, no, that's that's a good voice. That's a great voice for that character. That works. Like the raspiness to her voice and kind of like a little bit of a ditziness to it. But like, I mean, not ditziness, but kind of like just aloof. Mm, good stuff. You also mm -hmm. get to see the world outside. Sweet, in the sense. Which is more than we get to see. Ooh. Oh, yeah, these Where'd two. You go? Where'd you go? What did you do and why? Do you girls not have clothes? Yeah. What did you see out there, Annie? Oh, lots of different things. Some are real for sure, strange. Okay. Okay. This is a good song here. Most times it's only the simple everyday things. Oh my gosh. Like ribbon Cute. bows or toy puppies piano. and boys or games to play on swings. But sometimes hanging upside down from Marcella's hand. You know, isn't it kind of fucking cool, though, that something as niche and as, like, I guess, uh, campy as this would go on to inspire one of the most popular, if not the most popular indie animated series on youtube on the internet like yeah i it's, mean this is the perfect concoction like even looking at this right now seeing this like very wide variety of characters like th you can see inspiration you can see at least and, and maybe I mean, maybe it's coincidence think, but still i don't think it's coincidence i think the internet for a while now has had this deep fascination with taking cute innocent things from our childhood and making them kind of demented. So it's no surprise to me that seeing, you know, Digital Circus and with characters like uh, Ragatha taking inspiration from Raggedy Ann and Andy uh, resonates with people because it's taking that sweet childhood innocence that always kind of had a bit of a creepiness factor to it anyways and just leaning into it. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, I, I mean, there there is like... Because, you know, Goosebumps, the same thing. Are you afraid of the dark? Which, I mean, isn't necessarily the exact thing. But just the kids and adults, you know, we, we, we like being scared. Uh, at least a lot of us do. Or, or at least there's a morbid curiosity to it. A la, you know, FNAF. 
um, <laughs> Poppy Playtime recently got announced for a movie. So, yes, there's definitely kind of this uh, uncanny valley kind of surreal horror vibe to it that Digital Circus is able to leverage, though this film is presented in its sincerity and genuine. Isn't it cute? Isn't it kind of weird? And it's like, yeah, you know, uh, sometimes uh, cute and terrifying are just uh, separated by, you know, two steps. So, you know, <laughs> um, I can see the inspiration here. Absolutely. Also, yeah, this... I, mean, Dick, I, I love... I love when cute meets disturbing. It's like one of my favorite genres in media. Absolutely. It's good. I, I, the only thing is that I feel like sometimes it's done to a fault. And that's just oh, the way sure. it, 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 it can be trend. done well or it can be done poorly. Like with most things. Or done too many times. Uh, I, I think there's some moments where it's like, is this um, another analog horror, you know, surreal, cute, you know, something that's supposed to be cute from your childhood that's been a demented you know turn into the horror character okay you know um but that's just the way it works humans do that we like to to, to seek trends because that's just how culture works all right i talk too much by myself i see a very special land i look and what do i see Looking out with two brand new <laughs> shoe button eyes, here's what appears to me. I see lots of pretty and a lot of happy and a bit of Maybe everything wrong. This isn't the right song. inside of me. I look and what do I see? From a head all filled with red. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Dune song came through the Dune thing. <laughs> uh, Keepers, uh, thank you for the 300 bits first off. Thank you. By the way, I'm so glad that we have the Dune thing. That definitely catches my attention. Uh, <laughs> I love how it, the sound of it just comes disrupts through. what we're watching Again, so, I'm, so severely. I'm a dolly. No. I love the things. Boy, I am young. <laughs> yeah. Power oh, over raggedy is power over all. Um... After Blood and Honey, I think we owe Welcome to Pooh Corner an apology. I've not seen either of these films. I just, I just don't care. I just, I just don't care. I'm sorry. That's no slight to you. I appreciate the, the the bits and the message, but still, I just, I don't care about those films. Go talk to Meat King about that. He's more, he, that's more in his vertical. And linen in a raggy jamboree. I see lots of smiling and a lot of singing and a lot of something else that no one else can see. Lots of butterflies in the air. <laughs> Lots of honeycomb everywhere. All the pretty things we could share together. I look, and what do I see? It's a face as smiling and as hopeful as my own face has to be. See something pretty. Hold it up and shine. She's, she's cute. Something yeah, very cute. Could be if they were me. When I look, that's what I see. Love seeing those like You're sketchy really pencil lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very and, satisfying. And stitches too. Works too well with their stitches. The butterflies in the air. Every single day. With the honeycomb mm -hmm. everywhere. Really? With the happiness we could share. What do I see? It's a face as small it's insane. as hopeful as I know a face the, could we, we be. We watched She's Thief in the Cobbler recently. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, forgot, I forgot about that. She's <laughs> raggedy in. Oh my god. That's a good thumbnail right there. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> hey, Ragatha. Whoosh. Though my name is Raggedy in. <laughs> Fucking great. I know it's meant to be like charming, like the, oh the sun's reflecting in her eyes, but <laughs> <laughs> it looks just more like uh, a fucking too cynical for shit like this. Uh, it just yeah, looks yeah. evil. Yeah, yeah it's like the lasers memes. coming out of her eyes. What did you say? <laughs> I was gonna say uh, real quickly that like watching uh, we watched Thief and the Cobbler last week with uh, Tracy, and that that film's uh, its its production's a fucking mess. It's incomplete for a reason. Um, but like, I guess watching this movie, which, you know, Richard Williams worked on, you can tell like 
this is a complete film, which already makes it in a different league compared to Thief, where it's like, you know, it's got its, got its issues. Um, for one, it did not finish. Um, but... I'm assuming this is a complete movie. You you can see already just the degree of of technical, like, innovation and ambition that could not be fulfilled in Thief and the Cobbler, where it's like, holy shit, there's just so much in it that it is just otherworldly levels of difficult. Um, this film here currently looks really pretty, really fun, um, very well well made. But like just after watching Thief and the Cobbler, I'm just like, how the fuck did they decide to make this movie? It is insane. Like, I don't know, just, just comparing Richard Williams' projects makes me think about Thief and the Cobbler. I'm like, of course it, didn't, it wasn't completed. How could it? It's impossible. Yeah. It's just too much. Too much for their budget. Probably too much for their schedule. It too demanding of a project at the time too much absolutely too much All right. i love just seeing like the rough lines like look at her hair it looks incomplete i love that though i, I like that though it adds a degree of personality i think it's really awesome People just kind of like poke out of her eyes. That's cute. Her eyes a bit. That's what I see. <laughs> That's the most beautiful <laughs> thing I ever heard, isn't it? What? Okay. Kind of weirdly yes, seductive really pose news. at the My end there. Marcella is seven years old today. Uh, what's seven years old? It's what are you? Kill fun. me. Parties and singing, even get presents. See, look over there. Now that looks like a present. It's a funny kind of box. <laughs> it okay, I get the fix. reference here. Look, it's a sprouted feet. Those feet look familiar. Matter of missing fact, the red they shoes. look just like mine. Do you think it, it could be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is Andy. He's wrecked. He's under there. How long has he been <laughs> under there? He's been me push. Suffocating for a bit. <laughs> what a relief. I was on the floor here doing my push-ups. When wham, bam, everything went <laughs> my dark push -ups. and I was squashed by that. That's my oh my god, his leg. Present. What do I care? I spent the whole day under that thing. What's in the box? What's ah, get away. Gotta find out what's in the box. Whoa. Uh, Go something away. dumb. Weird. I don't like them. There's something written up there. A rope neck. Could you read it, then? I, I can't see from here. I can't see for shit. Yeah, step also, on I me, can't read. <laughs> Who cares what it says or what's in it? <laughs> I like how cynical he is. <laughs> Happy birthday, Marcella, from Paris, France. <laughs> Destroy it. This is very like toy Korea Jason, isn't it? Absolutely. Your voice story kind of opens with Andy's birthday, doesn't here. it? Another darn dog. Imagine that. A dog from Paris. I'll tell you something. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of all the dumb things that go on around here. I fucking love that line. That line's iconic. I'll tell you something. I'm getting really sick and tired of all the dumb things going around here. <laughs> tell you something. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of all the dumb things that go on around here. This is That's no me whenever you ask me to scream. Oh, like <laughs> You're strong, tough, and terrific. That could be. Strong, <laughs> tough, and terrific. Aww. Be a girl's dog. I can. Well, you. I, 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 uh. As far as the uh, devil can devil make care attitude that I, I, I get from uh, Andy here, I, I kind of picked that up with Jackson Digital Circus a bit, which isn't too much of a stretch of the imagination. I'll, maybe I'm I'm wrong, but at least I, I feel that. No, way. I mean I don't know if that's a direct inspiration. I think that there are just certain tropes that we see often repeated throughout media. 
Yeah, I can see that. But uh, I mean, yeah. you gotta have you gotta mess with the dynamics of these characters. They can't all have the same worldview and but, personality. Oh well, yeah, I mean, because you only, I mean, what is it now? Like the there's like only truly eight or so stories that can really be written or something like that. Uh, something like that. Where as far as like a story type goes, but um, I, I don't know. I could be very wrong. But uh, even with the uh, Andy's voice, it sounds a bit kind of like. Jack's a bit. Yeah, I'm kind of a schmarmy voice guy. <laughs> kind of voice. <laughs> you can push me, shove me, turn me around, but I'm no Ow, girl's God. toy. You can tie me, Rack toss time. me upside or down, but I'm no girl's toy. I sing my own sweet melody. I go my own sweet way. I won't beg round tomorrow for the kind of affection that was free today. Oh, you can squeeze me, tease me, say I'm your own, but I'm no girl's oh toy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can charm me, chase me, follow me home. I won't be coy. You may not much but i'm my own best boy is this rock time music or a little spicy, banjo lacy and nicey sissy you're going to enjoy oh my goodness no, no. <laughs> it's like okay. cake, little sad cake. Toy. Oh, i don't know what you would call this genre terrible. of music i don't know enough Thank about music wouldn't you Which be pumpkin pushed around and squashed up by a bunch of girls yeah you tell them what what do you mean tell them the truth what truth too many girls I hate Stop girls! Hey, hurt yourself. Hurt nothing. I've been hurt enough. Packages landed on my head. Tea party. Dancing lessons. You're just crazy. I'm no girl's toy. Maybe lazy. Watch it, sister. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> you can dare. So tough. Uh, neener, neener, neener. Oh, we got uh, bits here. Keeper saying uh, Raggedy Andy is like the polar opposite of Ken from the Barbie movie. I can see that. He's just a strong boy. Look at him go. You say I'm heaps of trouble and I'm heading for a fall. Well, no rag, no bone, no hank of hair is gonna make me do what I don't want to do at all. So squeeze me, tease me, say I'm your own, but I'm no My girl's goodness. toy. Oh, charm me, chase me, follow me home. Forget it, sweetie. You're tempting a lot of people you right now. Whoa! Like it much, but I'm, my own. I'm sorry, but like, what the fuck yeah. was that? Home. Crazy Forget animation. It, sweetie. How do you even... How do you even board this? I don't know. You look at real life footage of a little ragdoll flailing around. I mean, <laughs> there's a there's some liberties being taken here with the physics, I'd say. But I mean, it's the He's arms and the home. legs can flip in any which way when it's just a little ragdoll. <laughs> when I shove my little brother into the washing machine. Get it, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> I I cannot relate to the experience at all. I have no little brother, but not anymore. And not some not anymore. Dude, he is going. He's coming off. Whoa! Look at him go! Not me. Freeze! Here comes my It is Toy Story. Yes. This is Toy Story. It's so funny. Wow. Wow. Like verbatim. Is he going to go back to live action? No! Boo! Real fast here. Ramsey, the artist, said Michael Kovac uh, covered the song as Jax and Gooseworks said Jax's voice <gasps> was inspired by Raggedy Andy. So there you go. That's awesome. Oh my god, I'm getting dressed up Aww. on my part. Let's go. I'm a little princess. It's go my yeah. special day. Right, go off, queen. So I guess this is just her like playroom and not her bedroom. I guess. Because when she's like dressed in a whole new little outfit. Oh god. <laughs> not one of these. Oh god. It's like from that one <laughs> demon eyes movie. Wide in a oh my god, this is like Anissa's nightmare. What's it called again? That one movie with the possessed doll? Oh, Annabelle. Annabelle's Annabelle! This is Baba, everybody. Isn't she beautiful? No. He's my new favorite. What the fuck is this bitch? Okay. 
a bed. A glass doll. Who, who thought that was smart? You better get a bed. Oh man, she's got it made. There you go. Ugh, I don't like that one. Me neither. Scary. That one's scary. Raggy, no. you take good care about that. I'm okay. acting. Thank you, child actor. Alright, I want to see what she looks like in an animation form. Chat with the chat. I gotta use the bathroom. I gotta use the bathroom real quick, alright? Sorry. You're just gonna leave me? Sorry, we're back. I gotta use the bathroom. Sorry, chat. We're back. Alright. I'm just a rag <laughs> Alright, well, Saber's gonna go take a pee. It's just you you and me for now. Uh, I'm curious to see how the the glass doll is going to translate into animation. Uh, she's probably going to look really cute because a character like that would probably translate well into animation, I think. If I'm thinking of like 70s, 80s animation, she kind of has that like baby doll face. Um. Anyways, Kobio, I'm doing well. I've been really busy these past couple of weeks and it's been a little stressful, but in a sort of invigorating way. So it's been fun. So I'm doing really good today. Um, Goob Goobraham Lincoln. Fun fact, the actress, but not the voice, is Richard Williams' daughter who was dubbed over. That is a fun fact. <laughs> um, sees these cupades. Do you guys watch the recobbled cut of Thief and the Cobbler or the Miramax cut? Whichever cut we watched is the one that had the songs in it. That's what we took a vote in the chat when we watched it that night, and that's what everyone wanted to watch. So we watched the one with the songs, whichever one that is. Um, Blissicle, what are your thoughts on Wolf Among Us 2? Is it out? I... All I know is that I love Wolf Among Us. I love the first part. I love Big B. Big, like, you know, anime, cartoon, video game boy crush. What? Um, Is part two out? I didn't know if it was, but I'm excited for it. Cartoon boy crush? I'm talking about Wolf Among Us. You don't under Gummy you don't Gummy? know who he is. You wouldn't you wouldn't know who he is. You wouldn't understand. Okay, sorry. Didn't understand your his, game. His name is Big B, and he's the big bad wolf, but he's a man, and I love him. All right. <laughs> hey, no, it's just a trailer. Okay, it's just Welcome a trailer. To our playroom, Babette. All I know is that I'm excited for it. That's that's it. Babette. Welcome to life. Babette. Hey, Babette. <laughs> Oh my god, the eyelashes. Yeah, I had a feeling she was gonna be very, like, glammed up looking. She's French, of course she is. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you. Uh, my name is Raggedy Ooh. Ann, and this is my brother, Raggedy Andy. Where am I? You're in the playroom, that's my where. Am I alive? You're right. probably What is loving. existence? Oh, la, 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 la. What am I doing in such a terrible place? Oh. But you're going to love it here with us. I'm starting to see the inspiration for Digital Circus a bit. A little bit. <laughs> with Pomni and Kinger and Eben a bear. bear. What are you? <laughs> We're done. I love, I love this song you? from Raggedy in here. All of us live in the nursery. What it's a nursery. Andy, I mean. Can be. Some I hate how they don't have clothes. They're creepy little naked thin. bodies. Some who are Do they call her fat? Hold on. Of us plump. Oh, plump. Call her okay. plump. I really some of us That's thin. me. Some who are sad and some who always grin. Ew. What a, what a, mustache. What a horrible existence this guy. I know, it's kind of sad. Trapped in there. Trapped in there and always cold. Aww. 
It's like okay, that, you know, uh, in, in addition to Toy Story, uh, makes me think about uh, that one Pixar short with the snowman and the snow globe and how he wants to get out. Yeah. There, there must have been some inspiration here. Everyone here to welcome you. <laughs> this movie you. inspiring, like, and all I Toy Story and Digital Circus. Just, you know, multiple really facets of animation. Simple, right. Plain and true. But who are you? Oh my god, lady, listen. I'm just so detailed. Red Dolly. Bum, 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 bum. Happy and smiling all day. She's adorable. Very cute. Dolly. Much cuter than any real, like, Raggedy Ann doll. Yes. Wishing your worries away. They call, like, poofy she is. Why don't you go up to dresses? Poofy little arms and poofy little dress and poofy little dress. It's so adorable. This is too good. To be true, a little rag dolly, plain as can be, has a friend who's as lovely as you. Aww. Wheezy! Uh, I got that! Come here! I got that! <laughs> nice design. But something's going on down there. I got that! You're great in style. I'm telling you. Get me my spy glass. I got that! She's Give me much bandits. Dolly, happy and smiling all day. A love Both of them have very cute voices. Very good casting. Wishing your worries away, and I get so Pardon me. I'm gonna say, if that's if that's ragtime music. That's pretty funny. Ragtime, Raggedy Ann, you know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the pun certainly serves the purpose. Music works too. Ali, knowing it's funny but true. A little rag dolly, sweet as can be. Could be friends and... with a dolly like you. Where's that spyglass? <laughs> I want to get a closer look at the babe. Right. Ten out of ten. God, how did you, how did people animate lip sync back in the day without di digital, you know, digital assistance? This shit is excruciating. How did you time it out perfectly? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's things about it where even to this day, watching Snow White, I'm just like the leap in advancement is just other fucking worldly. And I don't know how they did they did it. Like, yes, we know how they, they did it actually, but still like just just understanding the, the the magnitude of the assignment is just mind boggling. I don't know. Brilliant. How. Cause like I, I think the story goes that they were saying like back in the day they're like what, what's a what's an animated movie what does that even mean it's just a long episode of something right and uh, I remember watching this documentary where they said that the secret weapon of Disney was a storyboard that they had like a, an actual storyboard that was a you know I guess would go on to become the storyboard that we all use still to this day. Um, which I, I need to make sure this is the truth, but I, I vividly remember he hearing about this in the documentary and how like it's a first act, a second act and a third act, like an actual film. But uh, we use storyboards to help chart, chart it out. Um, mm -hmm. And that's that was like the ace up their sleeve. I really hope that's correct. <laughs> but I remember hearing that in a documentary once. Sorry. There we go. Webb Smith, a Disney animator, is credited for with inventing the idea of storyboarding in 19, 1933. Smith's idea was to draw scenes on different pieces of paper and pin them together on a bulletin board to tell a story. The first storyboards at Disney were story sketches in the 1920s that illustrated concepts for animated cartoons, short subjects. The first film to use storyboarding entirely hmm, was Gone with the Wind. How about that? And the That's first cool. film to have a complete storyboard was The Three Little Pigs in 1956. Huh. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa. 
Barbets, Poor <laughs> Barbets, so far <laughs> from Paris. Poor Barbets, can't you see how Her miserable face. she can oh, so. be? <laughs> like a bird. Wait, she don't get it. It's gonna really hard to hear for Barbets. Oh. With no wind to go free. <laughs> Barbets, Poor Barbets. That's me. Do you believe it? Always <laughs> she dreams of the life by the sand. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. That's a beautiful fan. I think she will see Paris again. It's not Paris, it's Paris. Say it oh, right. Oh, brother. <laughs> God, these women. I hate women. What's going to do, do guy <laughs> shit? <laughs> Like, making your own beef jerky on Riverboat gambling trips. Shooting guns and shit. Shooting guns and Where's fucking go karts. Full of GI soldiers. Right, yeah. <laughs> Friends in your pants, you're in the chat. Is it Paris or Paris? Is, is Andy a Tumblr sexy man? I think so. He qualifies. No, he's missing the student top hat. Uh, yeah. Oh, woo God! There it goes! He's doing it! Ew! He's gonna burst out of the glass and the attack her or something. They're coming out of this music. This is a musical after all. I think she's kind of a pill. Whoa. She's probably homesick. Aww. Raggedy Ann is very sweet. Very. Mighty got his belly! It's bouncing! <laughs> what did it say? Oh! It just won't stop moving. I never saw such things. Like, what's that noise? I'm going to bed now. I do not wish to be disturbed. Sweet miracle at last! Belly just don't quit. Is he pelvic thrusting? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why is that belly moving so? I don't know. Wow. He's really excited. Oh. <laughs> 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 What's happening? Oh, you got it. Here you go. S O S. Oh my goodness. I'll do my very best, Captain. Oh, she's adorable. Down, please. She's just like, I just want to be nice and help everyone. She's so eager. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> she just never gets back up. Hey, everybody. <laughs> right? It's a real emergency. The captain is in trouble. We've got to... I like that, right? that, that take where she can't, you hear her kind of swallow with her words. That, that's good. Yeah. Buddy, it's a real emergency. I love yeah. that. That's the good. The captain is in that's trouble. That's cute. Very We've got to Makes get it feel more out. real. What are you going to do? Oh, shh. I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, shh. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, Kill these two. Kill them. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Maxie, do you have something in your toolbox that will get the captain out? Pull that again. Let me look. <laughs> uh, this could do it. Okay, Maxie, ah. let's try. Oh, please, Mr. It's bird. a glass cutter. <laughs> oh, a strong bird. <laughs> His face, did you see that? No, I missed it. <laughs> Oh, because his mouth is an O. I get it. Oh. <laughs> it is a glass cutter. My God. Cool. 
Yeah, well, is liquid gonna burst out? I think so. Oh, let oh, this guy out of his hell here, please. There's all liquid in there. Look at him. This guy's in hell. Let him out. Look out! Here we go. How did Will get through? What if he, like, he's released from his little water glass danger, and then he tastes air for the first time, and he's like, oh. How much water is there? What are you doing? Lay back, Missy. I have come for my prize. What prize? My treasure. Yeah. My miracle. My bride. He, he kind of grew Weezy, a bit, I guess. Ghost the light. Ghost the light. Ghost the light. Yeah, he seemed a bit smaller when he was in the little, the little glass globe, whatever you call it. Snow globe. Yeah, the little snow globe. He got bigger. God, his freaking tall mustache moves. Oh my god! Well, he's a pirate after all, I guess. I suppose so. Oh my god! That's awful. We're off to the high seas! High seas! Maybe shouldn't have answered the SOS. Holy heart is away! Holy heart! Well, this guy is so fun. I guess they were there all along. Oh my god! Poor thing. coming at you so fast. <laughs> Aww. Whoa! Are they gonna have to go save her? What happened? <laughs> right? No, what it's... happened? Sure looks like it. Hey. Poor bad bad. Kidnapped by pirates. Is Pommy going to get kidnapped by pirates in the show? The captain just ran off with her birthday. Oh, that would be funny. Oh, it's all my fault. Aw. Andy? The sweet little hug. You got to save <laughs> Graham Lincoln. You're, you're not going you're right. out there after her. I'm still in everybody. <laughs> the woods. Oh, no. Marcella says you should never go into the deep, deep woods. Not I can't believe weird. how much of Toy Story that this is. Oh, so much. Really scary, really scary. Deep, deep woods get really scary. Okay, thank you. Now all the little babies can understand that this is scary. Thank you. That was a pretty good timed uh, bits there. Keeper saying yeah. that Pirate Captain really plundered himself some booty, didn't he? Dodges a volley of tomatoes. How dare you. Ban Keeper, please. I'm joking. <laughs> I've got to. I mean, oh, the little girl did ask them to All protect right, her. To. Somebody's got to protect you. Oh. We'll stay here He's too cute. We'll be back before I definitely did not know that they were we'll brother and sister this whole time, ourselves. having never seen this movie before. Bro and sis? I'll handle that. Good to know. I'm scared, anyhow. <laughs> Don't worry now. Aw, he's scared. The tough guy. Come on, tough guy. If your sister can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> Oh. Well, she's oh. she's no stranger to being roughhoused with. She gets dragged around upside down all the time. You got no cloth or the bones. They're good. <laughs> Ouch. Not good. Annie, you okay? That's a little musical motif there. Uh, 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 I'm okay. What about My you? My broken. Did, did you whip anything? Don't think so. They both got their little motif. It's great. Seems to be all there. <laughs> oh. Little little oh. harpsichord's cute. Ah. It's very, very charming. Oh, is it a harpsichord? A little toy harpsichord? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It sounds like a little fake, the little toy keyboard. It's cute. If I saw those two walking outside, I'd scream. It would be terrifying. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Ooh, big over the garden wall vibes. Me I love scared, it. Andy. Me scared? Why should I be scared? Has everything that's ever been gr great come from this movie? Are you scared? I think so. 
well, you, you got me. Toy we got Story, Toy Story, you got Over the Garden Wall, and we got Digital <laughs> Circus. It all came from this movie. Oh my god, <laughs> we found the source of all art. I'm not. How come? Well, I got this paper. Tumblr, Daisy sexy thing. boys. The time I got you washed that and starched too. by mistake, remember? <laughs> And you couldn't move for weeks. <laughs> yeah, well, this flower sure cheered me Aww. up. And I've been carrying it with me for good luck ever since. Aww. Times when you're real down and low. Every lonely Aww. place. Kobe, watch over the garden wall, I demand you. There's a way I always know. Oh, Kobe, you've never We're watched it. always me. together. If you don't watch it now, watch it this, like, coming autumn Halloween season. 10th anniversary. It's perfect. It's perfect. Honestly, It'll be the 10-year anniversary since it first premiered this November. It's so good. It is literally, like, one of the most perfect pieces of media ever. ever. Yep. Agreed. Aww. Candy hearts and paper <laughs> flowers. Aww. Sunshine days and skies of blue. Rhymes and songs we sing for our world. This is a really cute movie. It's very wholesome. This is so charming. It's actually making me tear up a little bit. It's a lot more cohesive than Thief and the Cobbler. This is so, so cute. You know, that's the one thing about Thief and the Cobbler that really stands out. But, you know, besides it, <laughs> You're ruining my emotional right, immersion. <laughs> Tell me after the song is over. Times get bad and then I worry How <laughs> I'll ever see it through But candy hearts and paper flowers will always keep me close to you will always keep me close to you you mean that flower i gave you made you feel safe when you were all alone it sure did it was the one thing i could really depend on how come when somebody really cares for you and they give you something real special it makes you feel good all the time all the time all the time i wonder if a place like this where everything's so dark we'll have and a scary character. you bet maybe so if the night is gloomy and i'd like to hide i can't believe this is like making me a little a emotional it's so cute it's very wholesome and cute me. Cause I'm scared inside oh. That's when I remember All the things you've done Little things that warm me Like a morning sun oh. And I feel so happy Don't you see Cause I start to think in Just how much you mean to me. Oh, like how clumsy That's they are too. Nice. I know it's so, so cute. They're so the floppy. Get gloomy. Any place I go, I got you beside me. That's a fact you should know. It's because I love you so. Andy, I know that we're gonna be okay, no matter what. Uh, no matter why. Just <laughs> 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 some raccoon attacks out of nowhere. A raccoon! I'm scared inside. That's what I remember. All the things you've done. Little things that warm me. Like a morning sun. And I feel so happy, I don't, worry. don't you see? Cause I start Cause to I think in just how much you mean to me. So and let the night get through me. This movie is really sweet. This is adorable. This is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Me. That's a 
This is the kind of film you watch as a kid, like, I'm gonna come over. It's because Some good framing right there, too. They like they start making out and it's like wait a minute wait what wait <laughs> what do we do i thought they were brother and sister what <laughs> stop what what oh that was really precious that what? was like the one of the sweetest things i've seen in a in a while that like emotionally moved me that was really cute what's oh is this the song just that whole sequence, the song and just the sequence was so sweet. It really touched me. It's very cute. What? <laughs> it's Jaws. <laughs> what? <laughs> just the like Jaws. I saw I, 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 I saw a pretty fucking good uh, post that said like. <laughs> wait, 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 real fast. Let's say said uh like the mayor from jaws one is the mayor in jaws two local elections are important remember to vote <laughs> uh, i didn't know what the mayor never got out of office that's pretty funny don't you worry any i'll protect you oh be careful Come on out, whoever you are! He's going for it! What? <laughs> oh yeah, the Kimmel. <laughs> there's little runs there. Oh my god, I'm loving this. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. Oh. Andy, it's a camel. All beat up, too. Oh, I know, I know. Perfect to take advantage of. Let's kill him. Running and a chasing after my caravan of camels. What caravan? Oh. Where? Oh yeah, this segment coming up. Up in the sky. Oh, 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 oh a dancing and a singing and a smiling at me. This guy's like. That looks awesome. Tripping. It was commune, commune camels. And now they all gone. Cause you tripped me up. This guy's so wrinkly. Camels up in the sky. That's crazy. Very droopy. Andy, that's not nice. Let me get up. How do you draw that many wrinkles? Ah, awful, terrible. Who would ever animate ever? Animation doesn't do the thingless job. It's a horrible job. Oh my god. Well, people like us appreciate it, right? It's some of the most timeless shit ever made by our species. I think so too. It's it's that effort that makes the, uh, the illusion of life, the yeah. illusion of movement, is so fascinating. Yeah, I mean we get, it, we get to see things we would never see. You know, it, it's it truly is unbound. That's why it exists. That's why it's so incredible. And and also like of course you have to go through the crucible of the most rigorous of hard work to make this shit iconic and timeless. But my God, I can't imagine sitting there, especially for like, uh, was it Milt? He didn't use music. God damn. God damn. Sitting there quiet. Just not even, uh, I can't imagine it. <laughs> I'll stick thank to reacting you. to animation and making it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it, it's my leg. Little rubbery you know. sounds. They're not what they used to be. I had real sticks in them once. Then I, <laughs> so I used wrinkly. to have a lot of real things once, but things are sure different now. When you gives me Eeyore vibes a bit. Find a friend, and the road doesn't it's a musical after all. End, oh, that's such a cute background. Isn't it great? Day through. How can you be the song's cute? Happy. How can you be? <laughs> Did you see? Did you see Raggedy Andy's face? <laughs> I'm not sure what anime I worked on this scene. Okay. <laughs> we had the stunt doubling during this theme. 
That's so funny. <laughs> Why he looks so derpy in those shots? Can you be happy? How can you be smiling? <laughs> Why is his face is so melty? It's like all slanted. I'm not sure it was assigned this scene, but they, it, wasn't, it wasn't as good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. You put your raggedy and Andy in the microwave for too long. <laughs> Just a few seconds too long and they start to melt a little bit. Oh my god, someone said that, that should be an emote. It's really good. Someone remind me. I'll make it an emote later. We'll try to, yeah, we'll try to remember that. We gotta uh, update our emotes anyways. But low do. down saggy and blue When there's nothing to share and you don't have a dime to spare and there's <laughs> no one to come Flesh pockets. for you I like this song how can you be smiling how can you be singing how can you be anything but low down saggy and blue I look around and see the sweet life everywhere. <laughs> I watch the cookie bushes shining in the sun. The smell of sweet vanilla lily blows in every <laughs> breath of air. <laughs> Doesn't anybody want to like Eeyore, kind of. Right, yeah, I was just saying that too. It's very, very. Care. You are asked vibes. When you're wrinkled and cold, and you are never really sing songy, I suppose. I'm gonna say it. Huh? It looks like a ball sack. And you're nobody. Where? That part where it gets all stretched out. When you look at his humps moving around. When the two nuts get stretched out in the sack, like it pulls the part in between. Be That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling. No, I'm sorry. That, please. <laughs> <laughs> this best part right here. It's like you know, hello millennials and zoomers, zoomers and Gen Alpha. Like, huh? You can't afford a home. You'll never have a good job. You know, why aren't you smiling? How can you be happy? <laughs> How can you be smiling? <laughs> How can you be anything? Um. Big time Eeyore vibes. Big time. Big time. But low down, saggy and blue. It's interesting they treat they treat his body almost like there's two characters in it. In it. It's kind of cool. I like it. Sad I like it a but lot. true. How can you be happy? How can <laughs> you be singing? How can you be anything but low down, saggy? And rag bag baggy. God damn, dude. And blue. Like they use a banjo. That's terrible. You. Well, I used to be somebody's favorite toy. Once Aww. in a while, a nice little kid named Sam found me in an old junk shop. I lived with him in a real nice house where he hid me under the pillow every night in a real Aww. nice room. My humps got kind of flattened out, but I didn't mind. Because I had somebody to love me. Aww. One day, Sam's ma found me. She was a real pretty lady, but she was also kind of mean. When Sam wasn't looking, she threw me away, and I've been Aww. on my own ever since, looking to find some kind of place I could call home. Hey, Toy Story's got nothing on when this. When you're fuck? wrinkled and cold, and your fortune has all been told, it's a good song. And you're nobody's very cute. I love you. Aww. How can you be happy? I want to give him a hug. How can this you is be so sad. Smiling. How can you be <laughs> They're smiling. Whee! But low down, saggy and blue. It definitely Sad looks like a different horn artist did this be. scene. 
They're Raggedy Ann and Andy look really different compared they look very to like, the different. previous scenes. Someone specific did this scene, so I think. They, they, I think they brought in whoever was focusing on Raggedy Ann and Andy was now focusing on the camel because it's just there's definitely hard. someone specific on the camel. Who knows if it's the same person doing Raggedy Ann and Andy, but they look. A little off model compared little, to what we've seen. A little, yeah, off model, a little bit more staticky. Um, I think whoever's who was ever animating those characters in the first, I guess, quote unquote, act uh, moved on because they, they needed to bring everybody onto the camel. They either moved on or they were just saved for a different part of the film. That's not well, this. Part. God, lest we forget the greed is coming out. They probably had to save everybody. Oh, I that. can't wait. Happy. I can't wait to find the scene that's in like, the context. Have you guys seen it before? How can no. You be oh my god, Rishi. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I know, that's why I've been so excited to watch this with you. I'm talking to you. That's okay, you're just a chatty cat. No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bobcat Angel says, what? "You shouldn't be." Our Babbitt did the camel, aka the father of Goofy, and one of the heads of the first animator's strike. Oh my god, Damn. that's legend then. Because you can see right now that now now it's okay. Like, now they look different. Now they look like they're from the first few, you know, Dad. right? Over shots your friends. Or uh -huh. scenes. You will. Well, sure, and maybe things will get better. Well, that's why I keep a chasing them other camels. All happy and a dancing. Aw, Andy, you're so cynical. He's so singing, drawing me home. He's just sad and lonely and wants to be loved. <laughs> Quick, hop on. We gotta catch him. I'm under my mushy little pumps. I'm aboard. <laughs> This is really weird. <laughs> yeah, he's just speaking for the audience. Here we go. The Whoa, green is coming up. Here we go. There. Oh. Hey. Whoa. Cool. Wait for me. Wait for me. Slow down, Mr. Camel. I've been looking for happiness all Raggedy my and life. And it's some I ain't gonna let it get away from me now. Please. He's very innocent. Please. You're going too fast. Whoa. 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 Uh-oh. Dude, watch out. Are you gonna jump into oblivion? You don't know where More or less. Guys, get off of him. Get off, get off! <laughs> I don't yeah. care. Well, here we go. Oh shit. The most impressive part of the film is coming up. <gasps> Ooh. This part's terrifying. Oh my god, he got consumed! <laughs> so, real quick, uh, well, this part of the movie. Is this like the coolest part? Yes, I remember watching this part when I was a kid, and I was like scared at how good, like, like scared. It's one disturbing. of disturbing. Those... They're like in a black void right now. Yeah, it's it's that weird thing of like fear as a kid. We're like something's not quite right. It's not quite safe. Uh, you know, it's not it's not you know inherently evil or malicious, but there's a danger to it, and it's something that seems surreal and creepy, but also yeah. kind of like you know. Fantastical? Fantastical? Is that a word? I don't know. Fantastical? Let's, Let's go with that one. I'd say fantastical. But, um, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I mean, say more if you want to say more. The This scene is one of the most, like, mind-numbing scenes I've ever seen when it comes to animation, where it's like, I don't know. I can't comprehend how this was done. Like, there's just so many moving parts to it. It's just otherworldly. Cool. Yeah, I Hands think this is the only clip that I've seen from this entire movie. Um, before we watch it, do you mind if I run to the bathroom real quick? Yes, please, please, please. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll be right back. Do it. No, I, I watched this scene back in the day, um, and I watched it when I was a kid as well. And this scene has a, like a candy monster, uh, which... There's a direct reference of this monster, and um, you know, there's a homage to it in episode two of Digital Circus. And yeah, the, you, you'll see here with just how advanced it is with all the moving parts, all the 
creative forms this creature takes and just how it's constantly shifting and changing and, and, and just you know, shifting forms. It's, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. It is, it is terrifyingly good. Which makes sense why the folks behind this, or at least Richard uh, Williams, would go on to do something as ambitious as Thief and the Cobbler and fail. <laughs> um, not to put too fun of a point on it, but the film was a failure. Uh, you know, a glorious failure, but a failure nonetheless. Yeah, Kobe, you, you nailed it. Saying it's baffling how this animation looks. Yeah, for those who are, who are uninitiated, you, you will see here momentarily. Yeah, <laughs> right. The ant's face. She's like, "Ooh." Well, chat. Are you all enjoying the film so far? Uh, the name of the smooth. It, it, it's called. It's called the greedy, which is pretty great. Greedy. Um. I'm glad you all are enjoying this. It's it's good to be back to streaming movie nights. Um, I'm going to try and uh, do some more streaming tomorrow during uh, afternoon hours. I, I need to watch a few things for work, uh, for projects, put it that way. I need to watch some bad Pixar films, which might be on Friday instead. Uh, MomoCon's sneaking up on me. i got to get ready for that convention. i got a lot to plan for all the panels and got some videos I need to knock out as well. But um, I got my Helldivers cosplay showing up here soon. I, I uh, commissioned some cosplay and... I'm excited for that. Uh, Steam Powered Hippie saying, not sure if it's true, but I heard before that the technique they use to animate the greedy is actually lost to time. Interesting. I believe it. Um, I'm counting the seconds between the singing. It is so few. No, the, the, the songs come at you pretty often. I, it's definitely a musical. No, no doubt about that. The way this whole movie is animated is so, so good. But for some reason, deeply unsettles me. I think it's the smoothness and the colors. Yeah, you know, th there's there's something about its presentation that just seems kind of, like, uncanny. Um, in, in a good way. It's like, you know, it just seems kind of uh, rough and ready, you know, because of the 2D animated, you know, cell animation stuff. Um, I love it, though. It's very iconic, very timeless. You you would you will never see something of this caliber ever again, ever. Uh, please don't spam um, e emotes like that in the chat. By the way, if you don't mind, uh, thank you, Asher, or Dave. Thank you. Um, and Kenny, yeah, All right, the I'm team back. has been yeah. Sorry, let's chat with Hi. the chat. All right, ready Sorry, to watch. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. The greedy, you ready to see this? Yes, please. Here we go. Hey, this is real sticky. Sticky, yucky. Mmm, it's real delicious, too. Oh. This is so ridiculous, this scene. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of just kind of unsettling. Is that a taffy? Look at that giant cherry. What's going on? Delicious. This scene makes me think the most of uh, the Thief of the Cobbler. What's mm. that? Excuse me. I was asleep. I... <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror. Aw, that's so mean. Who are you? Who are we? Just in a constant state of eating himself. I, I right? am the greedy. The greedy, what a name. Excuse me. <clears throat> Welcome to the... Taffy Pit. What sort of place is hey, this? It's so much. I'm relenting. It's my, my domain. You're right. No. He, he's eating himself. I've gathered sweets. Sweet. Of every description and flavor. flavor God damn. From all over the world. It's just so constant. That's. I think it's another mm -hmm. part of this scene. It's just how how it's, it's just so constantly coming at you. Just... It's it's overwhelming. Why it's so uncanny? I love it. Wonderful, wonderful, isn't it? I eat all the time, except <laughs> sleep. Thank you, and brother. I never, never, never get enough. 
to end up rich. Yeah, well, that's silly. With all this stuff around? No, no, it isn't. I can't stop eating, and I'm. I I'm can't stop satisfied. eating. <laughs> Me talk about happy, Me too. Happy inside. No kidding. Oh, that's terrible. Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, the sound you effects. Tell me where, where I could find a sweetheart. A what? A sweetheart. I need a sweetheart. Are these sound effects? Are they? Are they? Uh, they sound kind of similar to like the things I heard in Dexter's Laboratory. I. Oh. I, I wonder. I I gotta do a video about like, or at least do some research about like. Who's who are the people behind, like these sound effects we hear in animation from back in the day? I, I need to find out like a, the evolution of, of sound effects in animation. That'd be a cool video. Here we go, song time. Look at this butt. Wee. You can give me candy, cotton candy, chocolate bar, or lollipop. Fill me up on ice cream, dripping white off. sauce, butterscotch and nuts that never stop. Feed me globs and gushes of your most delicious stuff. But without a sweet heart, I never get enough. No, that's, that's a, why I said that's a lady you friend. want me in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, squash me a banana drowned in jelly. Jesus Christ. Tutti frutti. How? Score. Marzipan and patience. That's a really cool. Tutti frutti. I like that. That's, that's cool mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> By the score, marzipan and pastry, drenched in butter, I love marzipan. caramel and gingerbread so galore. Mm -hmm. I can gorge forever, but I'm just an empty shell. Aww. <laughs> and without a sweet heart, I don't feel so well. It's snorking out his nose. Pardon me, please. Sorry. Well, we're sorry about your predicament, Mr. Greedy. I'm Raggedy Ann, and this is my brother Andy, and this is our friend the camel. With a wrinkled knees. How do you how do you do? Excuse me. We sure you lost your taffy pit by accident, so if you're God, kindly, let us so go much. on our way. Well, why why do you have to leave? Because we gotta rescue a friend. From some pirates. So if you'll just let us go. No. No, never let you, know. no, you see, you don't understand. You must help me find a sweetheart. I cannot go on living like this. The little punch <laughs> right there, see that? You must yeah. help me find a sweetheart. I can Can? Cannot go on living like Not. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Sugar pop to stop this misery. Oh, Damn. is this endless Maybe. eating all there is to be or not to be? Melt me a tortoni, Zabayoni, glazed with soggy alava. So surreal, too. The peanut butter like, custard. Abstract Alaska, <laughs> Miracles of oh, food crab too, huh? near and far. <laughs> There's not one delight I haven't tried, but life's too rough, oh dear. Cause without a sweet heart. How nebulous he is. I never get enough. <laughs> never get enough. <laughs> I mean, Richard, yeah. Richard Williams had to have worked on this scene, right? It, it, lo it looks visually kind of similar to his style. Uh, chat, do you all know who? I mean, I'm. I'm hold on, let me see here. Mm. The professor, uh, the greedy. So is it Ermory Hawkins? Ermory Hawkins, greedy animation from Raggedy Ann and Andy. Oh, hold on. This is cool, actually. Look at this. Let's see. All right. So uh, this is from cartoonresearch.com. Uh, Thunder, Thunderbean Thursday. It seems to be the person who's posting it here. Uh, it's back in 2017. Uh, this column, and honestly, every participation I have related to animation was in some way at least partially the fault of a few films. I, I'm not sure I don't get too caught up reading this because I've got to keep the streaming along. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm at the left here with my brother Scott to the right. Our version of Ge uh, Gadzooks, one of the characters in the film, was made from a green garbage bag. But look at that. That's uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that great? Um, the greedy hefty bag in full color. Here we go. Let me see what this says. I can't really see it here. It's hard to read. I guess that's the animator who made the greedy. Huh. I had a brief conversation with Dick Williams about Emory one year at the Ottawa International Animation Festival. Seeing the little smile come across his face when he st start started talking about Emory's drawings was a tiny magic moment for me personally. He clearly loved thinking back on the talents of people that he employed. Um, what was the video? It's not, it's not available. Uh, the greedy sequence was largely the work of genius animator Emory Hawkins. And it's a marvel of interesting timing, funny visual ideas, and funny drawing. Uh, Hawkins, of course, did beautiful animation at more studios than you can count. The extensiveness of the animation in this sequence probably would not exist, at least to this level, if Dick Williams, Richard Williams, wasn't directing. What I like best about the scene is the creepiness of, of some of the drawing and ideas. The drawings of the camel still making me... The camel still make me laugh. Especially how Emery loves to play around with his neck and ragdoll-esque body throughout. There's one shot where he ducks down, exposing his large rear end to the camera, before slipping like jello into the cupcake, carrying him and the dolls. One could watch this scene over and over and catch entirely different things each time. Wow. So uh, Emery wasn't Richard then. Uh, he, I guess it makes sense he was directing. Emery Hawkins. That's amazing. That's out. That's absolutely outstanding outstanding never get in those <laughs> when, when when they say uh emory did it do you think he did like all the different steps in the process like like or what do you think when they say he he did it what does that exactly entail like like he boarded it himself he did the animation himself i assume that's what he meant i I kind of doubt that there was a separate board artist for this scene. Um, and then he picked it up on the animation. I feel like he probably did it from scratch. Damn. Is what. That's the impression that I'm getting from that description. Outstanding. Just outstanding. I could be wrong. I don't know. Excuse me. I he says, excuse me. I'm sorry, and I'd like to help you, but I'm a only a rag doll boss. with a little candy heart. What did you say? I said, I'm sorry, and I'd like to help you, but I'm only Pardon. a rag doll. No, not that. Uh, tell me the other part. What other part? The part about the candy heart. Oh. It must be real sweet. Real, real sweet heart. Well, it's a candy heart, so I guess it's sweet enough. Well, I'd like to have it. It seems to me, Mr. Greedy, that you there. have had quite enough already. <laughs> well, I want that Look sweet hands. candy heart. It's her heart now. Oh, scissors. But soon, oh. it will be mine. What are you doing? Oh, come on! Let's get out of Aww. here! You can't leave me now! Man, this is why it scared me. Hey, I this just is your face, dude. Oh. Keep going! Take that! No oh, God. Yeah. Mm. Custard snot. Yes, Take some of your own medicine! Oh, oh. This is how far? Phase three, phase three! <laughs> oh, no! Root beer! Oh yeah, root beer. Huh. You see that? You can kind of see some of the frames like clipping out. Yeah, look, they, at, look, at yeah look at that. You can see it going beyond where the, the border is. Right there, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, some flaws right there. They probably needed to kind of create that illusion of movement. I like some little flaws like that. Help me. Rough right Come on, we're gonna start up. Happy Lanch. God, is this Akira? Oh my god. Careful, you guys, you're gonna get absorbed. Oh. 
Oh, I thought that was a part of his body. Well, is just a, a hole with taffy in the yard? Delicious. Gross. Those sounds. Love it. Good stuff. This guy and like Templeton from Charlotte's Web would have a great time together. Oh, they would be the best of bros. Oh, can we? Can we sit down and rest? Well, you bet. Oh, we're so exhausted just from sitting on you. You're right, it's been hard two days. Oh, for saving me. <laughs> Aww. 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 It's like how I kiss my dogs. Friends are four. And, and when we get out of here, we're gonna take you home with us. Aww. Oh. Oh, there it is again. Them camels calling me home. Oh. No, Mr. Camel. Uh, pull yourself together. Some more animation errors there. Who's that? Right. Oh, oh, it was that dream again. Yeah, I guess so. Home. I'm always dreaming about home. Well, we oh. want to go home, too. But before we can, we've got to rescue Babette. Who's Babette? Oh, a beautiful French dog. Marcella got it for a birthday present. Who's Marcella? Marcella. I can't really recall home. this part of the film and onward. We can't go back there hmm. until we find Babette. <laughs> oh, this oh, guy, that's right. Whoa. <laughs> the captain stole Babette away in his This guy's weird. Ship. Stick him up. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> the flag says you need help. You need, <laughs> you need help. help. <laughs> no, you need help. <laughs> From a helpful person who gets a big kick out of oh my helping gosh. people who yeah, need help. <laughs> Sounds Not awesome on when vibes this film is. too. Yes. Am I right? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> well, leave it to Sir Leonard Looney. <laughs> we should watch the <laughs> stream sometime soon. Oh, Alice in Wonderland? Mm -hmm. uh, Dude, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Fasten your eye on this super Not a perfect film, but definitely a spectacle. Okay. <laughs> oh, we watched Fantasia, too. There's so many things we can watch. Uh -huh. Ah. Yeah, now that we know we died, we You've have a little a bit more leniency. Eye. Watching stuff on Twitch. There's so many good things we can watch that. now. Oh, what a prankster! Welcome Ew. to him. <laughs> it's where all the practical jokes in the world come from. And guess what? We're going to try them all out on you. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh. I love it, I love it. <laughs> Once you're in, you're in, and nobody ever gets out of Looney Land. <laughs> Simply kill him. Looney Land? It's easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh oh. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> this guy's insane. The reason that I is because I lie. Yeah, oh. the reason that I oh. is because I care. Oh my god. And every moment I bring to your attention is just to show how much I get <laughs> right. to there. The well, fact that I, I adore you. It kind of sounds like a campier or Templeton, actually. I can hear that. You be all the tatters, but laughter's all that matters, and that's how I love you. Aww. These guys got freakazoid energy. God, leave him alone, fucking weirdo. Ooh. Nice. Oh, you mean like yeah. Cuphead vibes a bit? A little bit, yeah. All right, we'll follow because none of us have critical thinking. Uh, okay, well now you're you're eaten. How did they know that that wouldn't result in them being eaten? Ew. Kind of scary, actually. Oh, now it's Thief in the Cobbler. This is freaky. Oh. Oh, they can't 
talk. Attention, guys. Be on the lookout for suspicious looking characters dressed in rags. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> the music. Oh shit, this animation's awesome. Oh. Oh my god. I forget how yeah. unhinged this film is. Yeah, it's kind of crazy at times, isn't it? I'm happy that the camel is like a character that's their companion now and not just someone that they're like, oh, la di da, okay, goodbye. Right. You, you need a third character. There's, it feels like a bunch of vignettes in a lot of ways where it's like, well, I mean, yeah. it's not entirely, but still. I mean, it's big time. Like, I mean, obviously this came before Over the Garden, Over the Garden Wall, but like I get Over the Garden Wall vibes from this. Me too. Where there's like a lot of little vignettes, even though there's an overarching plot. God, I'm having so much respect for this movie after realizing how much it's gone on to inspire. It's insane. Oh, yeah. It's quite a source of inspiration. Whee! Look behind you. I don't know why, I get kind of Monty Python vibes of it here. <laughs> Just the zaniness. Yeah. Like the flying circus energy. Mm -hmm. Whee! Oh, Whee! oh my gosh, this animation! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Cool! Awesome. Now we're on Rainbow Road. It's cool to see these really vibrant characters on just like pitch King black Kuhn backgrounds. Kuhn. That was awesome. The King of the Loonies. <laughs> King of the Loonies, okay. Oh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at those ears. So serious. Troll hair. Huh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you for stopping. Yeah, you're singing the hearts out. You have the little feet. That looks like a little Simpsons character. How small he is. Well, 13 over 7. You're the king. Oh. This is not comedy. This is tragedy. For a man of my stature. <laughs> Your highness. <laughs> so aloneness. Yeah, aloneness. So That's what it is. What? Tell it like you see it, doll face. Loneness. <laughs> you know, everybody notices it. Notices oh, look at what? this, doll face. I am short. <laughs> I'm short king. The cars are cool here. You're the greatest king of all. <laughs> right, Shorty? <laughs> Please, you're not Did so they make short. him king because he's yes, short? I am. I'm small. I'm, I'm teeny tiny. I'm little bitty. I'm. <laughs> it's not funny. Man, your uh, kingdom doesn't it's seem to have a lot of respect for you, huh? Not really. And you're short. There's it's a lot of songs in this film. Big. And you're sure yeah, well, it's a musical, right? It's impossible to be lord of everything you see, and you're down so far you can't see far at all. But who could ever be the boss when he's teeny? No, your life's a total loss when you're a runt. Oh, just think what I could do 
If I was big like you and I didn't have to put up all this huh. front. He's just a little Imagine me, an <laughs> enormous king. How they bow, What are you the king of? The king of the cheese. fucking the sil the puppet? The well, Jack in the boxes. Everything. But now Thank they you for the uh, hundred bits there, breast bolts. Thank you. I can never hope to lead. I'm just a crumb. Did Napoleon succeed? Don't be dumb. <laughs> and if he was here, you see, looks weird he right was there. tall. Oh, that was on purpose. Me, I can hardly oh. stand myself. Because he's trying to look like Napoleon. Oh, I see it. Succeed? Oh, he's like, what happened Don't to his dumb. hair? <laughs> and if he was here, you'd see, he was tall compared to me. I can hardly stand myself. Do you know why? <laughs> this is really silly energy in this film. Stuff. Very silly and very bizarre. I like the, the like the limited color palette here. Just yep. yellow, red, and Maybe blue. You grow. Good. Now, the only way I can grow and is when I laugh at other people. <laughs> and that's why you're here. You lay off Aww. my sister. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> hey. You see that? <laughs> Come here and fight, you big tin can. <laughs> <laughs> what? Very amusing. I, I like it. <laughs> oh, come on, fella. Let's be friends. What the hell? Oh, oh, He's the back inflating in little me expand random spots. <laughs> Ew. Whoa! Oh, that's rich. Ah, is he gonna pop? Maybe. You mean you get bigger when you laugh? Like a balloon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, there's a real lump in my royal pudding. You see, only a part of me gets bigger. Just a part. Because there's nothing <laughs> funny enough to keep all of me big enough. Long enough! Yeah. Huh. Silence! <laughs> oh, if I could only achieve total hilarity, complete total hysteria, hilarity. Total hilarity. Total hilarity. Laughter, I oh, yeah. know all of me would expand to the size I am. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming to achieve in my life. Total hilarity. Total hilarity. Silence! Silence! What's so funny? Get this one, sire. Up. They're just perfect. <laughs> you can't push us around like this. Uh, making fun of other people never made anybody bigger than anybody else. <laughs> Come on, I've just about enough of this. Yeah, screw these guys. No, nobody ever gets out of here. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stay to keep me laughing. And no. when I no longer find you funny, you will become one of them. No! no. I don't stick though. Oh, yeah. It'll be such a lot of laughs. The drums It'll crack there. You up. <laughs> oh, fuck you, dude. Get him out of here. These guys are jerks. Kill are we him. Are going to get out of here or not? Well, they're not going to help us find the bed and the captain. They're all too crazy. Looks like we're going to have to leave him laughing. <laughs> Oh my god, this music is demented. It's chaos. It's a pie thrower, I guess. What a waste of little custom pie. Don't tell the greedy. Yeah, get out of here. Where are you gonna go? Where is there to go the in a darkness. place like this? You're in the void. Yeah, it says 
Tourette's. Yeah, with like the American flag colors. It's it's so it's so abstract. Cool. Wow. Get out of there. Just what we need. Kind of dream like in my Yeah, ways. that's what we need. More crazy. Uh -uh. Push that stop button. Yeah, that'll probably make it go. Weird. Like a, an angler fish in a way. That's always be fine and big. Look at this. I'm smaller than ever. I am a kinglet. <laughs> a I'm a kinglet. <laughs> Not a manlet, but a kinglet. You let him escape. <laughs> Why did you let him get away? Because they are going to give me the greatest laugh of them all. Huh? They are going to give me the laugh I have been waiting for all of my royal life. They are going to give me the laugh the that will laugh. make me bigger than anybody ever was. Ever. <laughs> really? What's that? The last laugh. Oh, it is the last laugh. Okay. <laughs> okay, shorty, it's up to you. Quick, idiot, <laughs> get me the telephone. I'm calling the president. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Just speak up into it. I am. Hello. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it is. Or no? What the hell is that? Hello? Hello? Looks like some disturbing SpongeBob character. Hello? The Zooks? Huh. Lord of the Deep here. This is King Coco. Oh. I was this hoping. guy seems like a. A rare, rare, or a rare villain. Yeah. Banch Kazooie or Conker's Bad for, for a Day. For sure. And I just sent you three terrific funny pants peoples. And I think you will find some great fun to play Ew. with. Is he a, is, is he a raft? Get your weird bubble what nipple away from me. Now listen closely, Gazooks. Here's what they're gonna do. Your name is not just It's a pretty, again, like, pretty fragmented film in a lot of ways. Yeah. But I'm but a... I'm no stranger to seeing films like this. Yeah, Look, with Mr. Richard Williams. He likes his ethereal stuff. I think we're gaining on him. <laughs> Oh my god, the little mouse! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, yeah, oh, it's so oh, pretty! Don't worry, Babbitt! We're coming! Damn, pirates. Damn. Topsoil Rick. Winesoil Jim. Many pumps in ours. Sails trimmed and mizzened, Captain Babbitt! That's the spirit, boys! Soon we will be in Paris, and I will show you some real highlights! Hooray! She's like, you know what, I love this life. She over for the captain. That's awesome. Oh yeah, girl. Woman is fickle. <laughs> Woman is fickle. You kidnapped her. Gives you right. Just as I was about to pluck the flower of paradise, I rose, turned into a thorn, and my dream into a nightmare. Nightmare. How long I waited for true love. Love. Oh, is he going to get a song? A man condemned by his own passion. Passion. A prisoner mm. in his own ship. Ship. 
Only <laughs> you, Queasy, have remained faithful. Faithful! Oh, yeah, yeah. Loyal. Yeah. Loyal. Very <laughs> fucking inspiring. You're my friend. You're my friend. Lose or win. Lose or win. To the end. He's just trying to eat the bird. To the end. 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 You like me. You like me. He's going to do it. He's, he's, he's grasping it. Ends, and one last time Aww. I sail to sea, you'll be with me. You'll be with me. Because you're my friend. <laughs> Only want a cracker. Yeah. I don't want any crackers. <laughs> Okay. This is me like singing a song to my dog and then also singing the voice of the dog to myself. You're my friend. You're my friend. You is my friend. You is my friend. Yeah, we're still partying. But she doesn't seem she loves to be it. in any trouble. She's like, fuck Paris this. I don't want to be some random girl's doll. I'm going to go back to Paris. Somebody's having a real good time. Can't you make the boat go any faster, Andy? I don't know what else to push. Hey, what's this thing? Oh, um, don't pull me. Ooh, That's very Alice in Wonderland. Right. Why not? What have we got to lose? So <laughs> blows up the boat. I can't budge it. It's stuck. Oh, well, all together now. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, there you go. Okay, well now you're on the boat, but what are you gonna do now? What are you doing here? Well, we've come to rescue you and take you home with us. You have? <laughs> and who is this uh, new uh, riffraff? Oh, this is our friend, the camel. Uh, it's a wrinkly. With the wrinkled knees. <laughs> now. Get your things and water in his wrinkles. Home. Just one moment, you rebel rabble. I am not going no. anywhere except Paris. I think she's kind of a bitch. Oh. Going where's back to Paris. I am the captain now. These guys love her. Well, where's the captain? Captain? He is below in Irons where he belongs. The filthy beast. Gesundheit, ma'am. See the van! Oh. What are you gonna do? Hey! To the highest yard arm! Lady! Come on! Out of the frying pan into the fire. Hey, you can't do that! Quiet, present! Full speed ahead for Paris! Damn, lady. And so where's Paris? There we go. They like their gelatinous no characters. They in this love movie, them. They? Guys, get it. <laughs> get it. Got it. Good. Yeah, the good guys get it. You know what I'm saying? You with all your arms. Oh, he's gonna get it. And under my direction. You will be the world's greatest tickler! Ah! Well, I'm sorry, the greatest what? Tickler. <laughs> Good work, Wheezy. Now, let's get up there and take our ship back. Ship back, ship back! Time, Queasy. 
Okay. Filthy brute. I'll shoot. Can we let bygones be bygones? <laughs> Jesus. He's still trying. Monster. Action. Invisible. Oh my God. I, yeah, it's, I don't know what's happening. Well, nerf. <laughs> now what? Fire one! Babbitt, be mine! Who knows what A lot's happening at once. Gotcha. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Stop that. Fire no, not the camel. <laughs> He's like a Kraken. Right? This guy what? is just posing there. Get, get, get that guy. Okay, ready? Aim. Take What the fuck? guys are like what the fuck is happening this is god we got a tickle finish here we got an inflation finish here curvy this is what the fuck i have made a mess of everything what a blow 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 don't give up Oh my god, Take somebody end this yes. torture. Kill him. This guy's gonna die. I think he's gonna pop. Oh, Jesus. Uh-huh. Somebody pop him with a needle. Bird's gonna pop him with his beak. This is a weird movie. This is very weird. I don't really know where I expected it to be going, Not but this way, it wasn't though. inflation. Wasn't this way. It wasn't 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 in this direction. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Pop. <laughs> Not even a pop, an explosion. Another parrot has hit the king. The fuck is Oh, well, now you want to be saved. Are you going to wake up in the real world? There it is. What are you How did all my toys here? get out here? The fuck is happening? All right. So was the king a balloon or something? I'd be kind of freaked out. Who's who's touching my stuff? I was gonna say, oh my god, that doll is huge. Dragging her dress in the water. I'd be scared. I was like, I know I left my toys in my room. How did they end up here? I'd be freaked out. Right. I don't like this one anymore. Just tosses him in the water. I say, he can keep him. Where's the camel, though? Where's the camel? Surprise, but... He needs love. What happened to it? Drew your mosquito eggs. Ugh. Bye, Camel. Where's the Camel? No, don't forget me. I'll never be happy. Aww. I'll never oh, smile. No. 
They actually never came back, by the way. No. Yep. Get the camel. Nope. They, they, they never get them. <gasps> oh. Somebody. Oh, that's sad. All alone again. Ain't I ever gonna find a home? Oh, it's Thor. Oh, shut up. Oh. I guess I can go to La La Land. Wait for me. Drugs. Don't go away. Don't go away. What is this? It ends on this, by the way. Fucking cruel. No, it doesn't. That's it. That's the movie. What? That's no. Shut up. There's more time. Dear Raggedy Ann, I am sorry I caused such trouble. Oh, that's all right, Babette. What do you mean, all right? Look at the mess we were in just because of her. You are quite right, Andy. Babette, you're one of the most courageous persons I have ever met. I hope oh, I you will be my friend. I still love you, Babette. Yeah, whatever. You are a very weirdo. romantic man, Captain. Oh, give me a break, dude. He gets what he wants. You may visit me on Sunday. Sunday! Sunday! <laughs> On God's Day. God's Day. Chick fil A is not working. Sure is good to have you back, Annie. It sure is good to be back. Quiet fireside doors that. Fuck open that camel wide. guy that we made friends Smile with. Fuck no, him. He, 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 he's just screwed. At least the captain wins. No, fuck this guy. This guy's a jerk. Dude <laughs> just falls in the background behind her. Shatters. So I'm joking right now about the camel, but now I'm having second guesses where I'm like, wait a second. No, 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 no. I, We've I, got five I, more minutes. He I, might have a chance. I actually don't know if they get him or not. And now, I'm, now I'm, I made myself sad where I'm like, wait, do they get him? Please. Come on. They can't leave it like that. That would be so that sad. Would suck ass. It's here at last. Going oh, to kick some ass. Last. Oh, I saw that at the end. I know, I saw that too. Look at the camel out there. He's like, sure. Please to let me in. Please to let me be loved. No, sir. Come on. He's so silly looking. Stalker. Happiness with those you care for. When you finally know what you are there for, this guy's poor and existence. It's wonderful how suddenly you're in the place where you belong. All the sharing to make life worth living. That little sack thing is creepy. Cause you're yeah. Ain't it wonderful how all at once you're also clumsy. Where you wished for all it's the same animation long. again. Look, look at their faces there. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Can you let him in, please? Hey, go away. Shoo. A friend the camel. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Come on. Let's open the window. Please. Come Mars is trying to go think of her something. Yay. Okay, that's a relief. Oh, thank God. They start eating him. Dinner. What's so <laughs> wrong with you? It's like the scene from South Park with the Christmas critters. Where they're like, they sacrifice me. Yeah. <laughs> he saved our lives and he helped us find the bed. And if it's all right with you, I'd like him to live with us so he can have a real home and never be alone anymore. Yeah, me too. Sure. I'd make some new sticks for his legs. This thing is broken. Show him up. Well, we like him just the way he is. <laughs> no, no, you, no, please you, you, fix you, my you, legs, no. please. 
We like him with his broken legs just fine. He's like, uh, no, I, I very much like the free medical attention. And is a friend of ours. That's the right. All right. And, and we know Marcella will love you just as much as She's like, as ew, what is the fuck is this? Ew, yeah, what's wrong you with it? Mean it? Throws him out. It's no mirage, Mr. Camel. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, I think it's just the best. Oh, you all are just the best. Oh, shucks. <laughs> no, <laughs> again. You're the best. Oh, gosh. Times get bad, but I don't worry. I guess I don't mind being a girl's toy anymore. Cause I know you see me. Looks at the camera. Looking at us. We'll always keep me close to Ew, you. Ew, gross. Aww. We'll always keep me close to you. The crusty crab. Aww. Oh my god, this movie like makes me so upset. This is making me cry. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you play it twice? <laughs> oh. Stop it! What do Stop. We do? <laughs> <laughs> you suck, dude. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is that? Gross, get it out of here. Yeah, just, <laughs> I thought I told you to stay out of my room. <laughs> Where's the goodwill? I'm taking you to the goodwill. Aww. Ew! <laughs> it's all moldy. Ew, it stinks. The fuck? Okay, it's a broken neck. It's kind of lame. Okay. <laughs> Aww, he's hugging him. Damn, these toys are huge. Oh, freeze frame. Toys are too big. <laughs> We used oh, to be a country. <laughs> What'd you think? I can't believe this movie got me to like legitimately tear up and cry a little bit twice. Oh, was he? Oh, it was kind of touching. It was very sweet. It was moments with a lot of heart in them. Yeah. And the animation too. I mean, the animation. It's very emotive animation you know tugging to my heartstrings it's beautiful yeah that was that was a work of art you know what's crazy i think this one's more a lot more satisfying than thief and the cobbler like oh you, for sure like of course thief and the cobbler is an incomplete film i was gonna say for one this one's fucking complete that should go to show that like even if you have a really visually ambitious film it doesn't mean as much as having a coherent film with a good story and like characters. Like even if it's lower quality, I use that term lightly. Animation. I'm gonna skip ahead here. Just keep watching some more chat. Like it's better to have a complete. Oh my god, his belly. Because there's still a lot of vis <laughs> like wow moments in this movie throughout. Like the greedy, of course. I love cool <laughs> chase sequences. Um, I, I, I'm still the biggest fan of like the first act with j just getting to know the toys with Raggedy Ann and Andy. They're so cute. And then uh, just how innocent. Oh my God, we're skipping past this guy, actually. This is Billy. He just keeps jumping at me. Um, but um, the greedy scene definitely steals the show completely. It's just mesmerizing. But the, the characterization, though, for Raggedy Ann and Andy is, is really cute. It's, it's very solid characters with well-established like traits and behavior as far as how they go about things being somewhat naive and innocent and sweet. And I, I know Andy's a little bit of a tough boy, 
But like, I I really love how for Raggedy Ann, she's just such a sweet girl. Oh my god, I'm sorry. What? Zone Sama? This isn't Zone watching the stream with us, is it? I must have missed them in the chat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just was going through the chat and Zone was like, I cried during the inflation. I was like, ha ha, don't make fun of me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Zone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mess with me, is there? <laughs> well, to be fair i've cried during some of their animations too no but oh uh, my god i'm so embarrassed <laughs> oh what up zone i've watched no <laughs> i've seen some of your work that's before. awesome of course i i, I... <laughs> yo zone by the way i i interviewed a person who uh worked on teenage robot and they were, and they were like awesome. they were like yeah i storyboarded that infamous scene and i saw it and i was like yeah how about that <laughs> oh, just that's saying, awesome oh, yeah, dude well legends here oh man well i guess all in all though for this movie it's it's a spectacle it's an absolute spectacle as far as like uh, you know, the greedy alone is just like I, I can't even wrap my mind around it and th this is not a perfect film but it's one of those things where it's such a it's almost like you're you can't turn away there's just something about it that's just so mystifying as far as watching it and you're like I, I it's 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 bizarre it's weird it's kind of unsettling it kind of gives me studio ghibli vibes in that storytelling sense of like you're kind of in a a fantasy abstract setting where there's like this sense of danger and wonder, which I know it's kind of like, you know, Studio Ghibli, that's a, you know, what the fuck's he talking about? But I felt that way during Spirited Away, where it's like, which is, you know, of course, a whole lot more coherent. Um, and also, yeah, where you're just sort of like whisked away to this fantastical world and it's got really beautiful, luminous animation. Well said. Sort of weird and creepy, but you know, beautiful and fascinating. These characters could be your friends. They might be your enemy. You know, it's... Or they might... Yeah, they're just kind of ambivalent. Well said. That's well said. Yeah, I... The, the, of course, Spirit Away is a lot more, you know, put together as far as its storytelling and characters go. And But, like, still, just the idea of, like... I, I love that kind of storytelling where it's, like... Because you get moments like Lord of the Rings where it's very black and white, where it's like, who are the good guys? Who are the bad guys? So it's not much guesswork. But this kind of storytelling where you're like, I don't know where we are. And it's kind of unsettling, but also kind of like romantic, also kind of exciting, but also kind of scary. Like those yeah. kinds of emotions are, are good. Uh, I think they're good stories. Yeah, it definitely gives me big Alice in Wonderland vibes, over the garden wall vibes. Yep, 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 yep. And it's really, really cool. Then, and then to know that this film's kind of gone on to, you know, I mean, is it just coincidental for Toy Story? I have to look into that. I'm, I'm very curious. Cause I they're... mean, I'm sure that many people came up with the idea, like, what if toys came to life? I'm sure. Well, people... It have... wasn't Raggedy Ann. The people behind Raggedy Ann, they weren't the first to come up with it. Just like the people behind Story... Toy Toy... Sorry. Toy Story weren't the first to come up with it, but... It does seem like, oh my gosh, did Toy Story rip off Raggedy Ann? No, it's like, no, no. probably not. Well, they so... probably just also had the same idea. And I guess it's more well known because it was like the innovation of 3D animation. Right. And, I, and I've seen some folks say the same thing about Brave Little Toaster, where they're like, was this yeah. idea of like inanimate objects coming to life, you know, taking Yeah, them? I mean, that's a, I feel like that's a pretty universal idea. Like right. everyone's kind of had that idea. It's, Part of your imagination when you're growing up as a kid. Exactly. I, I remember I, as a I kid. I think it's coincidental. I agree. I agree. Um, I was saying hyped for Toy Story 5 and Frozen 3. <laughs> uh, I'm so God, no. I'm excited for Zootopia 2 to see what they might come up with. But like. Yeah, but you are. Current. Shut up. <laughs> Currently, <laughs> the current landscape of Disney is one of like. They. They. They had that, uh, oh gosh, quarterly report, I believe, with their shareholders. And they're like, we're about to make a shit ton more sequels. And uh, we're going to back off on Marvel, you know, movie making and, and not go crazy on the sequels and, uh, you know, quantity of films there. However, we're going to make a lot more Disney animated sequels. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's just kind of like, I don't know. I, I feel like. 
I wouldn't mind some more original stuff, but it sounds like they, the shareholders are like, no, sequels, you can at least cash that check. Um, I don't know. We're, we're, we're in desperate need for another renaissance for them because we're, we're definitely out of whatever era they were in during the revival. It's, it's now like post, not even revival, but uh, what, what did you and I call it? We call it the, the plateau. Like it's the current. Yeah, that's the, that's the phrase I like. This is the, the Great Plateau. The Great Plateau. Where it just kind of, you know, it's like, eh, you know, you're not sinking financially like the Dark Ages. You're not, uh, you know, on, on the ropes like you were during like the post Renaissance. But currently it just feels kind of, I don't know. It's, it's, it's been feeling like this for at least a decade now. When Wreck-It Ralph 2 arrived, I was like, uh oh, <laughs> this isn't uh this is not clicking with me anymore the way it once was. So, I don't know. Yeah, Wreck-It Ralph 2 was a disaster of a sequel. I hated it. Had a, a few cute little ideas, but man, it was just so not worth it. The uh, the first fr- movie is so goddamn good. It's fantastic. Pathetic. I remember when I first when I watched Wreck-It Ralph and the, the first one. I, was, I went to go see it on my own in theaters, and I sat there. Oh, my God, I don't expect much from this film. And I watched it, and I was like, wow, that was that was a good movie. And somehow, despite feeling different, it still felt you know, kind of at its core Disney. Uh, and then I saw Zootopia, and I was like, holy shit, this is even better. So, yeah, um, we got a What's Ruining Disney film we're cooking right now. It's we've been cooking it for the last few months, and still a lot more we have to research to talk about. Because uh, I, ev- I was even able to arrange... Um, an interview with uh, an animator from the Disney Renaissance uh, to talk to her about just her experience there working on films and what it's like then or what it was like then and where it is now. So got some uh, insider information about it and excited to mm-hmm. share it with you all. Um, oh, can't wait to hear. Well, um, any final thoughts about Raggedy Ann and Andy from you or the chat? Oh, just, I mean, story was really creative and cute you know it's nothing that i haven't seen before you know having grown up with toy story and alice in wonderland of course uh but obviously this movie came long before i mean i never saw this movie growing up uh i wish that i had uh because i can feel you know how nostalgic this movie must be for so many but beautiful animation some really really cute emotive animation Cool designs. storytelling cool designs they, they, they really uh, adapted raggedy and andy like tremendously well i love how like potatoey and cute they are i love like the brother sister relationship so sweet this whole sequence definitely like got <laughs> me teary-eyed uh yeah you know, if i could i i enjoyed the journey if i can provide some critique i would say that you start the film off with Andy being like, I'm, you know, tired of girl stuff. I don't think. Yeah, but then it didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, they didn't really do anything. He didn't really have a character arc. There was no point where he was just like, you know what? You know, being a girl toy isn't so bad. You know, what was my, what was I so upset about? None of the characters except for the camel had an arc. And the arc for the camel was pretty simple of just finding home. That's fine. It's almost kind of like a fairy book story where it's just some characters lost in the woods and stumbling across different adventures. I, I'm okay with that. Um, mm-hmm. Those characters are cute and fun. And uh, I would say this, if this film was any longer, it would start getting boring. Like I started to feel a little yeah. bit, the pacing started to kind of, I was like, okay, I'm getting it, a little bored here at the end. Not it's bored. It's a little long. How long is Stale. it? It's uh, an hour and 25 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Isn't terribly I don't, long. I don't care for the live action parts. Like when it opened up with the live action, I was like, oh, all right, here we go. Um, but I guess they're sparse enough that it's not so bad. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, the, <laughs> the film carries itself with these two just being so cute. And then some really outstanding animated sequences where it's like, holy shit, they, how can you even look away? I would definitely watch this again during fall or Halloween, yeah. uh, you know, paired with Over the Garden Wall, just because it gives me those vibes. We can return to this later on in the year. We'll, we'll do like an entire month of like horror animated stuff when we get to it. It's cute. It's weird. It's wacky. It kind of gives me, you know, those autumn vibes. It is very, very charming. It's charming. Yeah, it's very cute. You can see a lot of, there's a lot of effort that went into this film too, where it's mm-hmm. like, you know, visually, of course, but like, 
there there's a sweetness to it i think i think that's the main very thing sweet. it's a very sweet film uh, definitely feels like i don't know i think if you're a lover of animation this is something you should see yeah i'll put that on the list of like check this film out it's right up there with you from the cobbler as far as being another you know requirement for watching being like look how look how writing this can go look how terribly wrong this can go in the most mm -hmm. spectacular way possible well chat thank you for joining us for the bits the donations the subs we i think we're halfway to our sub goal for the month thank, thank you for the, your support uh, it goes right back to oh, the yeah. team to um we use this twitch in our youtube pilots channel to help um fund the team and help make more videos we've been having a lot of fun here as of late just watching films with y'all and um, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I love it too. Let's go raid Pumpkin. Pumpkin yeah, is a Yeah, let's get her. Cartoon... This is a perfect movie to, to raid her with. Absolutely. Car uh, Pumpkin is a cartoon, uh, like 1920s, 30s-esque Betty Boop uh, cartoon VTuber girl. She's very charming and fun, and uh, I highly recommend sticking around for her stream. So let's go raid her. And I guess, what, what should we stream? What would you tag her with, I guess? Um, I'm no girl's toy uh i'm just a nah, rag dolly how much rag dolly rag dolly uh yeah rag dolly i oh, don't know rag dolly we'll just type in i'm a rag dolly i'm a rag dolly we'll start with that all right chat we'll sure. see you, we'll see you all next time bye bye i'll have to do a 10 second countdown